friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a video all about hyped skincare. I tried a lot of the most talked about skincare that I've seen all over TikTok, Instagram, and all of that jazz. And I'm gonna be reviewing everything, sharing my long-term impressions. So before we go ahead and dive into the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Also hit that little notification bell. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. So a portion of today's video is sponsored by Olay. And I've been using this vitamin C moisturizer for a month now, and I have been loving it. So I'm super excited to talk about this as well as some of the other products in this video. But I wanted to say a big thank you to Olay for sponsoring part of this video. So I just did my makeup. I did my hair. I got back from Hawaii about a week ago now. And I feel like I haven't worn a full face of makeup in like two weeks. So I feel like, whole new woman's. First product that I wanted to talk about is the Mighty Patch Pimple Patches. This is actually the variety pack, so there's lots of different ones within this pack, but these pimple patches are only $7. That's so affordable. Packaging looks like this. You do get a nice little variety of items, but if you just wanted the original pimple patches, these are great. I actually save pimple patches for whenever I have those like really deep, big under the skin blemishes and pimple patches are great because it really helps to reduce the size of them overnight. And also life hack, you can wear these underneath your mask, especially if I have like a big one on my chin or my cheek, I'll just put a pimple patch on during the day and then wear my mask on top and no one can even see it and I'm trading my pimple. So it's a great little hack. Um, I think these pimple patches are great value for the money. I've tried a lot of pimple patches, some high-end ones from Sephora. I feel like for these, you don't really have to spend a whole lot of money to get something that works. And for $7, I love these. If you wanted a little bit more of an affordable alternative, you can always get Band-Aid Hydrocolloid band-aids and then cut those up and it pretty much is the same exact thing but I do like pimple patches because some of them contain like better ingredients these ones actually contain little spikes so there are certain pimple patches that do a little bit more than that but I just like that it's so convenient and it's only seven dollars next hype product that I want to talk about is the Olay Regenerous vitamin c and peptide 24 hydrating moisturizer so like I said I tried out this moisturizer for 28 days and I have been loving it I do have a little bit of green blush stain on my hand so please ignore but this moisturizer is so hydrating so lightweight and it contains vitamin c niacinamide, peptides, and lactic acid, which is an HA that really helps to smooth out the texture of your skin. And within a couple of days of using this moisturizer, I already knew I loved it. It has a really like light scent, but it's super hydrating. It makes my skin look so bright and radiant. And I never even said what this cream is supposed to do. It's supposed to give you two times brighter skin in just 28 days. So I put this cream to the test tried it out for the full 28 days and I believe it's been longer than that now and I've continued to use it. I packed it with me in Hawaii and I love using it during the day because I feel like it just makes my skin look so radiant and bright. My makeup applies on top beautifully. Whenever I put my SPF on top, it doesn't pill or anything like that. So I love this cream. When I run out, I definitely will be repurchasing because I have really oily acne prone skin and Sometimes moisturizers can either be too heavy for me or it just doesn't work for my skin type, but I really, really love this. And especially after a month of using it, I feel like I have a really good idea of how much I like it. And if I see any results, I've noticed an improvement, not only in the texture of my skin, but how bright and radiant my skin looks. Before I applied any makeup or anything like that, I'll go ahead and show some clips of me applying the moisturizer, some of my progress clips and stuff like that. By day 28, my skin looks so bright, so radiant, and I feel like my skin tone was really even out and I felt like I didn't even need makeup. And today I just wanted to test out some new products so that's the only reason why I'm wearing makeup for fun. But this has made my skin look so amazing. It is $28 and I feel like it feels and smells like a very high-end cream. So I think it is totally worth the money even after the 30 days i'm going to continue using it because i really really enjoyed it keeping along the drugstore theme the next product that i'm going to talk about is the different gel adapalene acne treatment so this is also 28 dollars, and i feel like for this little thing it's kind of expensive but after testing it out for almost two months now i'm a fan so i heard about this from skincare by hiram he is a big skincare guru on youtube and tiktok and he talks about this gel all the time so had to try it out and when i posted it on my ig stories so many of you guys 
talked about how much you like this and I feel like it's one of those things that you do have to use long term before you see any real results. So I didn't notice anything until after about a month of using it, but it really helps to smooth out my texture, target any of the acne or breakout, especially if you have really acne prone skin. I think this is definitely worth a try, but you do have to be really, really patient with it. Also, I do have really sensitive skin, so I feel like at times this was almost too strong for me. So I started off only using it one times a week at night. And when I did use it, I did have to apply kind of like a buffer. So I would have to apply like a hydrating serum or my moisturizer first before I applied this. That way it just wasn't going on my bare skin. And I feel like that helped a little bit with the sensitivity. It didn't dry my skin out as much. So if you have sensitive skin like me, just be wary of it. But I did notice a huge difference and I think I definitely will be continuing to use this. On the other hand, if you are willing to spend a little bit more money, I do feel like there are other products out there that are a little bit more gentle and user friendly than this one. I now have moved up to using it two times a week but I still can get really irritated or dried out skin from this so I just have to be careful with it but it's a $28 drugstore item so can't really beat that. Going along the acne theme the next product that I'm going to talk about is the Polish Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. So this is a toner that contains salicylic acid and this is probably one of my top three favorite skincare items of all time. I always have one in my collection and a backup and it's one of my holy grail skincare products, toners of all time and I cannot live without this. If you have acne prone skin, texture, breakouts, you definitely need to try this. Anytime any of my guy friends, my siblings ask me for recommendations, friends, I always recommend this stuff. And it does seem kind of expensive for such a small little bottle. I believe this bottle is like $28, but you don't need a whole lot. And I feel like it is so effective that I will continue buying this over and over and over again. So it really helps to smooth out any of the texture, target any breakouts or acne. And I just pour a couple of drops into my hands and pat it directly into my skin. That way I feel like it saves product rather than pouring it into a cotton round. Some of it kind of gets wasted in that, you know what I mean? I love this, can't live without it. It's a second step in my skincare routine after cleansing it and I feel like it makes the biggest difference in my skin. Next, I have some sunscreen products. I feel like this really blew up on TikTok and this is the Dr. Jart Seek Repair Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. So I have two different um, thing things with me. One of them is the color correcting treatment and this is like the jar version and then the other type is the camo drops and I actually did a campaign with Dr. Jart so as far as I know the biggest difference between the both of these is this one is a little bit more suited for tanner deeper skin tone so for me right now and then this one is a little bit more suitable if you have more of a lighter paler complexion. This is a sunscreen kind of moisturizer situation, but it helps to cancel out any redness. It also contains ingredients that really help to soothe irritated or inflamed skin. And if you have uneven skin tone, if you like trying out new sunscreens, if you have acne prone skin like I do, I think you will really enjoy this. So this jar, I don't really use as often because I do feel like it leaves a little bit of a white cast on my skin tone because I'm so tan. So I do prefer the drops. There is a special way to use this stuff because if you don't use it correctly, it's gonna look like green on your skin. So the thing that's so special about this cream is it actually adjust to your skin tone so out of the jar you can see it's like a stark green shrek color but once you warm it up on your skin and rub it in it almost melts in and helps to correct any redness like even on my hands once it's rubbed in it changes colors and absorbs into the skin honestly it makes my skin look amazing and it also contains spf 30 so in the morning after i cleanse tone and moisturize i'll go in with these camo drops and make sure i'm doing the two finger rule and warm it up with my hands and i feel like that helps to speed up the process a little bit and then just pat it into my skin and it just really almost acts like makeup but it's skincare and I love that. And anytime I have any redness or I wake up and my skin tone's not super even or anything like that, this does all of that and it contains sunscreen. It's a great skincare product. I feel like it was really hyped on TikTok for such a good reason and I think it's worth the hype. 
Last product that I want to talk about is a $2 sunscreen from Walgreens. Actually, it's two for $5. This is the SPF 30 Sport at Walgreens. It's a Walgreens brand and actually try the SPF 50 as well. For the money, this is a really, really great sunscreen. I'll show you, it has like a really, kind of has like a whipped texture to it, but it blends out really nicely. It doesn't leave a white cast or anything like that, especially for the money. If you've been looking for a new sunscreen, you definitely have to try this. It does kind of have a strong fragrance. And sometimes if I apply it too close to my eyes, it will burn a little bit. But as far as sunscreens go, this one passes the two finger rule. It doesn't break me out, doesn't pill on my skin doesn't leave any white cast. So it really checks all of the boxes for me and it's so reasonably priced. So if you are like out on vacation and you forgot your sunscreen at home, go and pick this one up. I think you will not be disappointed. If you have really sensitive skin, it does have fragrance in it, but they do have other formulations of it. I believe it comes in a hydrating formula, but this one for me is really great. Like I said, I have oily acne prone skin and it works really, really well. And $2 sunscreen, can't really go wrong with that. So that brings us to the end of this quick little review video. I'll go ahead and link all the products that I talked about down below, but I did want to say a big thank you to Olay for sponsoring a part of this video. You guys know integrity is super important to me and I was so glad I was able to test it out for a full month before giving you guys a review, but I really have been enjoying this moisturizer. I'm going to continue buying it. I noticed a big difference in my skin within the first week of using it and after a full month, I can wholeheartedly recommend this product to you guys. So I'll go ahead and link it down below, but that that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. I got a new camera so I wanna touch the lens.